My channel was one of the first to be asked to review this, the all new fully wireless group set from Wheeltop, and it has been on my bike for roughly four months. And I'll be completely honest with you, in that time, I have thoroughly abused it. So how has it fared? How reliable has it been? Has anything broken? What's the shifting been like? And how have those batteries done? Well, stick around and I will reveal all. So I fitted this group set to a gravel bike back in the spring. That particular bike I use for everything from road training rides right through to gravel and trail. I class that bike as a hack. So it only really gets love and attention when it fails. So what I'm basically saying is that bike and this group set for the last few months have been completely neglected. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the components and see how they've done. What we'll do is we will start at the front of the bike and work our way back. So let's start by having a look at the shifters and the brakes. And first the shifters. So what have they been like to hang on to for four months? There's nothing really to report, if I'm honest. They're just a pair of shifters. Do I think to myself when I'm riding that bike, oh, these feel different in any way, shape or form compared to any other shifter? No, the best compliment I can give them is I'm just not aware of them being a different shifter to what I'm used to. Yes, I would say compared to a Shimano 105 Altegra or whatever, they are a slightly smaller shifter, but not so small that it causes me a problem. They're still just as comfortable on long rides. And for your own reference, I'm just shy of six foot and I wear a large glove. But all is not rosy with the levers. The hood rubbers, they're just unworkable. I bled the system recently and I was having to pull so hard and I was struggling so much with the hood rubbers, my fingertips were in pain afterwards. Believe it or not, I resorted to using a pair of pliers to hold the hood rubbers back just so I could get a bleed port in. Now, Wheeltop will start seeing some warranty claims on this because people are either going to do what I did and use a pair of pliers and split the rubbers or they're going to damage the bleed ports. So, hood rubbers, a big problem when maintaining this group set. So what about the brake calipers? Well, once again, there's not anything exciting or disastrous to report there. They just worked. People may say, oh John, but tell us about brake modulation or pad clearance. All I can tell you is I took off some Shimano 105 calipers and I put on some wheel top calipers and they, they just worked the same. I didn't notice any difference between the wheel top ones and the 105 ones. And if I'm being totally honest, I don't notice the difference between the wheel top ones and the Ultegra ones that's on my summer bike. The pads on the other hand that come with the wheel top calipers, that's a different story. They do make that I'm eating your rotors sound every time you apply the brakes. Now, as I was testing the whole group set, I had to continue using those. But if I was to fit a new wheel top group set now to one of my bikes, I wouldn't use those pads and I would use either the Shimano Road Finned or non-finned pad, which both fit into that wheel top caliper. Okay, so working our way down the bike, now let's take a look at this, the front derailleur. Now there is a story about the setup of it, but I will pick up on that one in a little while. Now, when we discuss group sets, we tend to overlook the front derailleur, don't we? You know what, it is what it is, it does what it does, it deals with two sprockets, what else can we talk about? And that was going to be my opinion on the wheel top one. But if you are buying the wheel top group set, there are a couple of points that you need to be aware of. So the first thing I want to bring to your attention is that little bolt on the back of the derailleur. Now, on a Shimano derailleur, for example, you have something called a support bolt. The support bolt passes through the derailleur and pushes against a back plate on the frame. The wheel top derailleur has what looks to be like a support bolt, but it's too short to serve any purpose. It fits loosely, so it would probably eventually drop out if you did adjust it. And the head is on the inside, so it can't be adjusted. It's as if Wheeltop knew that they had to put something there, but didn't know what it was for. 
The process of shifting the front derailleur does mean we get a bit of metal on metal action. And one of the problems there is one of those is a chain that's moving. So you're gonna get wear on any group set. But if we take a look at the wheel top group set, that wear is starting to show. And this is only after four months. Right, so that's the front derailleur covered off. Now let's have a conversation about the rear derailleur. Now this thing is made very well indeed. The bits that I have been able to get at and look closely at without having to break the whole thing have been very well made. Take for example the jockey wheels. I took all that apart when I first got this group set and I was surprised at how well those jockey wheels were made. <laughs> I'm disappointed to admit they're better than the Shimano ones. Now if an organisation was going to make a, a derailleur on the cheap, they wouldn't over-engineer their jockey wheels, would they, and make them fully ball raced with CNC end caps. Now I've put this thing through everything the wet roads and muddy trails have to offer and it has not missed a beat, I promise you. I've even tried drowning the thing and it just keeps on going. It's a bit like that Toyota Hilux off of Top Gear. You just can't kill the damn thing. But what is disappointing to see, and it really is very disappointing, is that some of the screws and bolts that they've used are starting to get a build up of rust on their heads, which is such a shame because the rest of it is so well made. Right, so now let's have a chat about the shifting. Now the setting up of the shifting of this group set is something I discuss in my installation video. So if you need a bit of help with that, I'll link it below. But be warned, it is challenging. But now that it's been dialed in for the last four months, what has the shifting been like? Now, if you look at that rear derailleur, for example, the jockey wheels are absolutely clogged up with grass and snot and all sorts. And really, you shouldn't be riding it in that condition. But I will admit, that rear derailleur has not missed a beat. The front one has been pretty good, but if I abuse it and cross chain, sometimes it does struggle to make the change. Now, I could try and dial that in and improve that with a bit of adjustment, but to be honest with you, it's only happened a couple of times, so I'm not overly bothered about it. But how does it shift compared to, say, Shimano Di2? Well, that is something I'm going to discuss in a minute. Now, you may recall from my previous video that I touched on the subject of wheel top using auto trim features on this group set, and that Shimano may or may not have a patent on that technology. I put that query to wheel top about four months ago, and I'm still waiting for a reply. Right, so now let's have a conversation around the very hot topic of the batteries. So, we now all know that if you leave this in race mode, yes, you get super snappy, super fast changing gears, but the group set never goes to sleep. Therefore, you come back to your bike a couple of days later and the batteries are flat. So, like most, I now run it in casual mode. And in doing so, I'm enjoying a similar battery life to what I see on my Shimano Di2. Now, up until a couple of weeks ago, I hadn't charged this since the first install and it was running at roughly 60%. And then I did a firmware update. And at that point, the group set started talking to my Garmin head unit. Brilliant news. But the head unit kept telling me that the rear derailleur was running at a very low battery and that I needed to charge it. When using the app though, it told me it was at 60%. This notification constantly coming through telling me my battery was low, was annoying, couldn't see a way around the issue, so I've just charged it up and the problem's gone away. More on the head unit in a minute. Okay, so let's have a look at the charging cable, which is shockingly bad, pun intended. Now, a bit like my laptop, it uses like a, a magnetic thing. It clicks on like that. But unlike my laptop, it's not very magnetic. So you could just nudge the bike, for example, or nudge the cable and it would lift away and you'd think your bike was on charge, but it's no longer on charge. Now, the thing is, you sort of know it does it, so you just you sort of know to look out for it. But even still, 
It's not brilliant, is it? The biggest negative people use when considering the wheel top group set are these batteries and the facts that you cannot remove them. Now, as some of us know, earlier versions of the wheel top group set came with the batteries detachable. But the jungle drums of gossip would suggest that they were forced to undo that to what we see now because SRAM has a patent stopping anyone producing a Duralia with a removable battery. <laughs> Which seems crazy to me that they even were able to get that through, but what would I know? I'm just a simple chap. This is a Garmin 810 head unit. It is nine years old and is still being used constantly. And the battery on it is perfectly fine. What's your point, John, I hear some of you ask. My point is, a good quality battery can far outlive its purpose. Now, the only reason I've been given so far to suggest that Wheeltop hasn't used a quality battery in this product is because it's from China. Now, there's the box for that Garmin. <laughs> 810 head unit. And guess where it's made? Has Wheeltop used a quality battery in their group set? I have no idea. None of us do. Only time will tell. But if the rest of the build quality is anything to go by, then they probably have. So, on to setup and the app. Now, the only gripe you tend to hear from people that actually own the Wheeltop group set is about setting it up and using the app. You don't tend to get complaints about in life. Now, the interesting thing is, when we first saw the Wheeltop group set roughly a year ago, the comments were exactly the same. So what I suspect has been going on is Wheeltop have been so distracted dealing with this battery thing that the app got put on the back burner. Now I'll admit, I was one of those people. I got myself in a right pickle with the front Duralia, but luckily I'd taken some screenshots of the settings before I'd started to adjust it, so I was able to backtrack and dig myself out of a hole. But genuinely, I was sat there before that thinking, I don't know what to do. You just need to look on social media owner groups to see that the problems people have had in the past. Everything from the app isn't doing quite what I'd expect it to, right through to the app's not even showing in the Play Store anymore but it does look like those complaints have started to calm down, so hopefully we're coming through that. But if you're still experiencing problems or you know of a trend, please stick a comment below. I recently did a firmware update because the system told me that there was one available for every device in the group set. What was that, around about the 9th of June I did that. Now, although it gave me this full list of all the things it was changing, the only thing I really saw on the back of it as a user was the group set now started talking to my Garmin head unit, which is fantastic news. So it started giving me that important information like battery levels, what gear I'm in, and that really important one, you've run out of gears on a climb. On the negative of that, it, did have a, it does have a slight issue where it's got my two front chain rings the wrong way round. A sort of positive on that, everyone's complaining of the same thing, so it's a known issue. So fingers crossed, we'll see a resolution of that in the next revision. So four months down the line, what do I think of the wheel top group set? And more to the point, would I recommend it? Well, as far as hardware is concerned, wheel top has clearly done a good job. The shifting is really good. It's a great group set to live with. And on the whole, the build quality is very good too. Yes, there's that whole thing where some of the screws have got some rust on the head. First of all, I'd like to think Wheeltop will pick up on that. And second of all, you know what? It's nothing a little blob of grease won't resolve. 
The whole battery argument, that's a trickier one to comment on in the short term. We can, however, say that Wheeltop offers a two year warranty on the group set, so we can take some security in that. The companion app is clearly a work in progress. Now, me personally as a user, now that I've got the group set set up and dialed in, it doesn't actually affect me anymore, and I'm sure a lot of other users will be in a similar position. But if you are new to electronic shifting and you intend installing this group set yourself, then you may have a frustrating time ahead of you. Okay, so the big question, does it shift as well as my Shimano Di2? And the short answer is no. The reason for that is my Shimano Di2, first of all, is Ultegra, it uses a short cage, a Dura Ace chain, and a Dura Ace cassette. The wheel top uses a long cage. I've got it set up with a 105 cassette and a 105 chain. And because of all those reasons, it's never gonna shift as well as the DI2. But does the difference actually matter to me? Well, I don't really think it does. Does it make a difference that it shifts a little bit quicker or a little bit quieter? No, I, what difference does that actually make in the real world? But this is a great group set. It shifts well, it's built well, and I enjoy using it. If I was in the market for a new group set and I was working on a budget, then the Wheeltop group set would be on my shopping list. So yes, I do recommend it. The group set will be staying on my bike and will continue to appear in future videos. Now, if my opinion on the group set changes, you'll be the first to know. Now, if you're in the market for this group set, Wheeltop has given me an affiliate link which will give you an additional discount off of this group set. Link in the description down below. Thanks for watching.